Hi, this is Bobby from Prixie Pets, and today we're going to talk about our three-year-old litter robot that we abused and neglected by not cleaning it and not loving it enough. Let's get started. Now, I love cats, but I hate cleaning the cat box. Such a chore, I always forget to do it, and it's horrible when I do remember because it's usually past the limit, past the expiration of changing that cat box. That's why I was so excited when I found the little robot and we got it over three years ago. And it was in the middle of the summer and we'd come home from work and you know the air conditioning, the window has been shut and the house would stink sometimes because we're busy. We just had our first child. And we got the little robot. It was kind of expensive, but it was oh worth it. I mean, we've never seen anything like it. However, there are some issues that we've had and we don't really take care of our little robot the way they recommend but it still works when i say neglected our little robot i mean we just didn't clean it as much as you're supposed to sometimes it would go like three months since we clean it i mean we empty the tray every week when it gets full because it tells you that it's full However, we didn't take everything out and wash the interior, especially during the cold months. It's like no one wants to do that. How's it going to dry? And we made a whole video about cleaning the litter robot. It's very popular because it's an easy task, but you know how things are. I mean, it takes like 20 minutes, but to actually get motivated to do it, you're like, I don't want to do it. But you have to clean any cat box anyways. So. Our little robot worked, but sometimes it would have smells the way that things would cake up. I mean, you can see in this video that there's some mess on the little robot. This is the video the this is the little robot uncleaned for several months. Um, and then finally got around to cleaning it. I'm the one who cleans it now. Ever since Erica had a baby. She doesn't want to touch the cat box, it seems. Wink, wink. With all jokes aside, though, I'm, I'm happy to do it. I mean, it's just not my favorite thing to do. And, uh, yeah. Would I recommend getting a little robot? Absolutely. There were some problems. And we've tried other cat boxes, including traditional cat boxes, which you have to scoop all the time. And it's been a game changer when you look at the litter made which my baby Prixie enjoyed more as she sometimes would go pee in the sink which I actually think is a little bit more efficient because you don't have to scoop it and or throw it in the trash or, or whatnot um, the litter made would constantly Clump up, need to be cleaned. It had a cheap motor and um, emptied the little reservoir where the, the messes go. Would constantly need to be cleaned out every couple days. So, yes, I would recommend a little robot. Maybe if you live in a dorm or you know, you're younger and you can't afford something like that, uh, the litter mate is an option. There's just a lot more hassles and it's a cheaper mechanism. You're going to have to replace it. Actually, one of our pieces broke uh, when I was going to dust off the mat. It fell and, and it broke. So it, we're not using it currently. Get a little robot. Try it out. If you like it, which you will, then you keep it. If you don't, they stand behind it fully. They have like a 30 day money back guarantee. You won't return it back. Guarantee. Or your money back. Well, that's it. I just wanted to let you know my experience, the other half of Prixie Pets, with the litter robot. We've had it for a long time. We don't use the right cat litter. There's a couple other things, but all in all, great fit please subscribe we tried something a little bit different here and just wanted to throw out a video get back in the groove 
We love you guys. Check out our other videos, our other cat care videos, our dog care videos. We'll see you soon.